So, what is the basic gear that you should take when you go out hiking? Well, my friends, that's coming up right now. This is the pack that I'm carrying today. This is a Marmot Compressor Plus. A very, very lightweight backpack, really comfortable. It can carry a lot of stuff, but that's not very convenient because it's meant to be for lightweight on, on ultra light hiking. You can see the shoulder straps are quite thin and light. They're meant to be. It doesn't have any structure. It has a little, uh, very thin foam pad here on the back. And it's made of uh, this ripstop nylon, really lightweight, kind of water resistant. And I really like the pack because it's really simple, it's really light, and it's very convenient for day hikes or maybe even a lightweight, ultralight overnight. But what, what's important is what's inside the pack, the basic kit for any hiker. One of the first most es essential things that you should take is water. Now it depends on the hike that you're gonna take, on how long are you gonna hike, and where are you going, and what the weather is gonna be like. For me today, this short day hike, this bottle of water would be more than enough. So water is one of your first priorities. Now another important piece of kit that you should take with you, even on a short hike, is a rain jacket and a sweatshirt. Now this rain jacket here is made by Sierra, the signs. I'm gonna leave links to all the gear that I'm showing you in this video. Very good waterproof parka, lightweight. The other piece of gear that I have with me as uh, insulation is my REI Merino wool sweatshirt. Now I like this sweatshirt a lot because it's really thin, really lightweight and it keeps you really toasty warm. Perfect for combining with this water resistant, waterproof parka. Now the third piece of gear that you should always take with you is this, your first aid kit. Now as far as first aid kit goes, you don't need nothing more than this. Just a small Ziploc bag with your essentials inside. Basically you want things for cuts and scrapes, scratches, maybe burns. Uh, you need some bandages, some adhesive tape, some painkillers, some, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is hydrocortisone, in case you get bitten by a, sting by a bee or an, or an ant or maybe a spider. You know, your basic, basic first aid kit, you should always carry something with you. I also like to carry my GPS. This is a very simple, basic GPS by Garmin. It's the Garmin E-Trex 10. Really simple, but efficient. You don't need m nothing more than this. You can get as sophisticated as you like, as always. But this basic GPS works for me just fine. I also carry with me for emergencies my Spot Messenger. Now this thing is amazing. You can message uh, 10 contacts that you choose from, some friends and family. You can customize your messages and uh, it's worldwide, it works worldwide and as long as you have a clear view of the sky, GPS signal, you can message home, tell them that you're okay or that you need help, or you can tell the authorities, the authorities that are nearby, that you're in trouble. You should really check this out, the spot messenger. Toilet paper, self-explanatory, multiple uses, very lightweight, keep it in a Ziploc bag. You can use this for wiping your butt if you have to go to the bathroom. You can use this for first aid. You can use this as a fire starter. You can use this even as a, uh, as a signaling device if you put toilet paper around a tree or something. It's more visible if search and rescue team is coming to get you. So toilet paper, don't leave home without it. I also like to carry some snacks. This is some oatmeal, instant oatmeal. You can just add water to this. It doesn't have to be hot. You can add cool water and it'll 
do just fine. And I have some nuts here. Snacks that give you energy and that can help you out in a survival situation if the need arises. Also, as part of my EDC and basic hiking kit, I always carry a pocket knife. Right now I'm carrying the Victorinox Tinker Deluxe, which is one of my favorite Victorinox knives because it has the pliers and the scissors. It's got pliers, scissors, both of the standard Victorinox blades, the large and the small one, bottle opener, can opener, it's got the Phillips screwdriver right here in the back, it's got the parcel hook and it's got an awl. And this is perfect for me, for my EDC everyday carry in urban scenarios or when I'm camping or hiking, I always always carry at least, at least this Victorinox Tinker. I highly recommend it. Now that's your basic kit. You can maybe add sunscreen or sun protection if you want to. A hat would be very, very useful. A very good idea. A bandana, a buff, you name it. But for me, I like to crank it up a notch. I like to be prepared. That's what I'm all about. So I like to carry a bit more stuff. David Canterbury names these things the five C's of survivability. And I carry this almost always when I go on even the shortest One hike. One of the first C's in David Canterbury's five C's of survivability is a container that's made of metal. What I like to carry is my Keith Titanium 650 milliliters mug or cup. This thing is great. It weighs almost nothing and you can boil your water in here, you can cook your food and uh, it doesn't take much space you can fill it up with other gear it has a nice lid on top as you can see I've used it already I like to make my coffee here in this mug I also cook my freeze-dried meals here it's perfect for one person solo hiker or ultra light hiker this is really really a good choice a good option Keith titanium now the second C of survivability that I'm gonna be focusing on are cutting tools. Right here I have with me a handmade bushcraft knife made by yours truly. I made this knife out of a truck leaf spring. I am gonna leave a link right here in this video for the making of one of these knives by myself. Really, really good steel, high carbon steel, hand forged, and it'll last me forever. I mean, I'm gonna be passing this knife to my grandchildren if I have the chance, of course. And uh, I'm using a, a leather, leather case from another knife. This is a, the leather sheath from a condor knife. Also, really, really good knives, condor. If you wanna check them out happened to fit this knife perfectly. I also like to carry my backhoe Laplander. Now this is a an excellent excellent wood saw. This is this saw is perfect for cutting firewood, for building shelters, you name it. It's a very very high quality, a very very affordable price and I love it. It's not really heavy and with a combination of the knife, my pocket knife, and this saw, I can do whatever I put my mind to. You don't need an axe or a large machete if you're carrying this. This backhoe lap lander, very, very good piece of kit. Now, the third C is for cover. For cover, I mean shelter. Protect yourself from the elements. And for that, I have the rain jacket that I showed you earlier. I have my sweatshirt, merino wool sweatshirt or sweater. Now I have with me the SOL Scape BV. Now this thing is basically an emergency, an emergency sleeping bag 
and I've used this in conjunction with my lightweight sleeping bag on cold days it's made the inside of the BB has this reflective material sort of like the space blanket emergency space blankets but not nearly as noisy it's more of a plastic material but also reflective and it works great I mean you can use this for an emergency alone and I'm sure it will keep you alive I mean not if you're in the North Pole of course but for the weather here in Mexico where I live at this is more than enough I also have a Tyvek tarp now this thing is really cheap is waterproof and it has uh, attachment loops on each corner also made of Tyvek so that I can tie it to a tree or I can maybe use my trekking poles and make a, a lean-to shelter spend the night out perfect it's waterproof so I wouldn't have any problems if a little rain comes and the last piece of kit that I have for shelter or cover material is my shemach you can carry a shemach a buff or even a bandana and you would be well covered because these things are super super useful you can use them as scarf you know to warm up your neck you can use them as a pack if you fill it up with stuff and make it like a hobo type of a sachet or pack you can use it as a belt you can use it as a sling if you hurt your arm you can use it to make char cloth for fire lighting you can use it for cordage to tie things together I mean you can use it as a water filter the uses are endless for a piece of piece of fabric like this one if it's cotton it's better because you can use it for char to make char cloth to, for fire lighting which brings me to the fourth C which is combustion device now in this in this little pouch that I made myself stuff sack I have the two remaining C's of survivability I have cordage and I have my combustion device let me open this up and show you what, what's inside okay so what what is this these are just simple regular matches I have a mini big lighter now in this match plastic waterproof match case there's a flint at the bottom on the inside I have uh, cotton balls covered with petroleum jelly I have a piece of a hock saw to strike the flint in the back and I have a couple of magic birthday candles the ones that you blow on and you can't put out let me show you how this works so you take your cotton ball you fluff it off a bit like that you take your striker you locate the bottom of the of the case where the flint sat and you just go like this you see easy fire the petroleum jelly makes the cotton ball last much much longer and that gives you time to put some twigs on top and build your fire so this is an excellent, excellent, lightweight, simple fire kit that you can make yourself. These other couple of aluminum vials are also filled up with cotton ball and Vaseline. And the last C of survivability stands for cordage. And right here I have tons and tons of cordage. Mostly paracord, different lengths. Now cordage is super super useful you can take the strands inside of the 550 paracord and you can use it for repairs you, know, you can stitch your pack if it gets ripped your pants you name it so cordage is the last C and some extra stuff that I like to take with me is my Sawyer water filter this thing is amazing this is the Sawyer mini I recommend you get the Sawyer Squeeze instead of the Mini. It's a little bit larger, but the water flow is much, much better on the Sawyer Squeeze rather than this Sawyer Mini, which is amazing, don't get me wrong. You only have to work a little bit harder to get the water. Just screw this on your pet bottle and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about.
basically you fill your water with dirty water you screw the filter on top and squeeze and drink out of it that simple and it kills well it doesn't kill it retains 99.9999999% of the bacteria and uh, harmful you know things that are in dirty water so you'll be safe I've used it many many times I've drank water out of very dirty puddles and I've never gotten sick so check out the Sawyer filters as I was saying some of the extra stuff that I like to take with me are my extra pair of glasses a headlamp this happens to be an energizer LED headlamp with three AAA batteries one of the batteries inverted so it won't accidentally turn on inside my pack I have some extra batteries I have my Altoids mini tin with my repair kit, you know, some needle thread, some zip ties, different gauges of needles. I have also my signaling mirror right here. Hello. Signal mirror and it all fits inside this uh, belt pouch with molly attachments. And that's it, my friends. That's what I like to carry when I'm out hiking. You can add stuff. You can take some stuff out, which I don't recommend. At least get the basic, basic kit that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. And always, one of the most important things that you should never, ever, ever forget, and I'm serious, is you have to tell someone where you're going. Tell your friends, tell them a family member exactly where you're going and when are you planning to come back.